Hi, this is KSP with tape, and today I'm flying the Falcon Heavy rocket. Uh, Falcon Heavy is another Kerbex designed craft based on um, SpaceX's Falcon Heavy. Um, it's like the Falcon 9, just with two, uh, with three, um, basically three of the first stages of um, Falcon 9 on the side, and two of them break off. Uh, yeah. I want to make a quick apology for my last video, the Falcon 9, because that just was rubbish. Um, my flight was a bit rubbish, and all my software just went wrong at the same time. Like, it went out of sync, and I couldn't fix that as well as I'd like, because my um, editor stopped working properly, which was really annoying. And then the recorder just froze um, partway through, which you probably saw if you've seen it, and I'm sorry about that. It was I'm hoping it was a good video up until then, and my Falcon 1 video I think was better. But anyway, I'll show you the ship. Right, this is my Falcon Heavy. Um, right, so basically, as I said, you've got your first, your normal stage, and then these two stages on the side that break off with asparagus staging, although that didn't work just now, and I tried to fix it, and I think it's fixed now, but there is still some dead ship in the in the vicinity of, um, of Kerbin. Uh, annoyingly, um, you couldn't fit it on the side like a normal ship with just a decoupler, so I had to build these kind of top-mounted things, and it, it it worked out fine, I think. And it works, and I put some struts in. I didn't use too many uh, non-stock parts. As you can see, I've used just the Falcon 9 fairings, so they don't give you Falcon Heavy fairings. I'm just launching a little satellite, because I might as well. So uh, that's, yeah, that's good. So let's uh, get out on the pad and launch it. I'm hoping um, this time that uh, asparagus staging works, or I'll probably have to record again because these crossfeed things just didn't work last time. It was pretty annoying. So yeah, so it didn't get anywhere near as high because I think yeah, because usually with this it's such a powerful ship that with a light satellite you can get it up to ridiculously high. I think you'd probably go Mooner if you really tried because that main stage is just. It, you can do your whole orbit with the main stage and not even have to use the transfer stage. But, yeah. I'll put SAS on. I'll hope it'll burn right. Uh, yeah, let's just try this. Okay, so... It is saying that it is burning out of these tanks first, so it does look like asparagus is working. In the side, it won't look like it's working because this ship isn't configured for it. And I had to kind of fight my way into it, and maybe I should have checked crossfeed capability out. It is, because I have done it before uh, with crossfeed, and that is how Falcon 9 actually works. That is how Falcon Heavy actually works with um, crossfeed. Oh, well, no, I think I... yeah. But you have to drop these tanks as they, as they empty, or they'll just burn the fuel from there, and you don't want that. I think that's what I got wrong the last time, so we'll just kind of keep an eye on that. As you can see, we've got tons of fuel. We're coming up very fast. I'm slowing down a little. Um, just going to tip over slightly now. I always tip over around 4,000 just for a speed increase and because it helps to get your orbit right. So you can see all of this. It is incredibly fast. Uh, last time I did it, it got re entry effects, but it won't get that now because I'm going to drop two of the boosters. Yeah, Falcon Heavy is, well, the booster stages are liquid fuel, which is different to, like, the shuttle that used solid fuel boosters. Um, so it is more efficient, I think, but I'm not entirely sure. And they've emptied, so we're going to drop them. Ah, uh, good, they did clear the ship. I was a little worried they wouldn't. And as you can see, we're up to the first stage of atmosphere, where we begin our gravity turn. So now you can just see it's pretty much a Falcon 9 now. But Falcon 9 starting at 13,000 meters, so it's doing pretty well. Last time I launched it I got up to about, yeah, 700-ish thousand meters. Um, just a really good orbit because that main stage will just burn for ages. So I'll get it up to some really high. I'm not actually sure the exact value of geostationary, but you can figure out by checking your surface velocity, which I'm getting right now. As you can see, we're already up to 80. It's really powerful. I'll push it up really high right now. 
and we'll probably have to use some of the transfer stage, but hopefully not too much. I'll tip it over a little bit more. As you can see, it's already doing a lot of the orbit, so it's actually really easy to complete the orbit. Okay, Apple Apps, 300,000. 400,000. Yeah, okay, I'll push it up to 700,000. Oh no, 600,000, we'll leave it there. And as you can see, I've still got uh, 500 litres, uh, 560 litres of fuel left. So we'll warp all the way up. Oh, and we're out of Atmo. Yeah, burned all the way out of it. Okay. Although I didn't put any RCS thrusters, so this will be difficult to get down to, to control. So I'll probably have to use some engine gimbling. And something I did forget was actually to turn off the gimbling on the booster stages, which you should probably do just for stability. Uh, because if you're using SAS, you kind of want one gimbling engine, or it all fights each other. And I'm trying to burn, I'm trying to use the engine just to make slight burns so that I have some control. Because I am moving a whole stage, and that is difficult when you have very few control surfaces. Oh, we've got a while though. I think we're at, yeah, five minutes. So, yeah, I don't need this much time, but, you know, I kind of messed it up a bit before, so, you know, hands burn, lesson learned kind of thing. So, yeah, if you, well, if you download, I might put this in the description. Oh, actually, no, I probably won't have it in the description, but you can download the pack and then just build it like I built it. And <clears throat> then you can kind of get anything, almost anything you want into orbit. Just leave the fairings out if you're putting big things. I mean, this is bigger than the ships I usually get for, make, for moving really large station ships into large orbits. And I think, yeah, on this game, because of the scaling, you could get it, you could get it to the moon. Because, yeah, the scale is different. I mean, Kerbin is much smaller than Earth. And the whole system is smaller, obviously. Which makes the game easier. But slightly less realistic. And as you can see, I'm still trying to fight to put this at prograde. Yeah, and you can see it tipping on the screen, but you can't see it tipping as much in the Napple. Although it's starting to go now. Because I could probably do this without the main stage, but it makes it a lot quicker and it's just kind of nice to see the main stage. And it's powerful and I might as well use the fuel because that'd be dropping a lot of fuel. And I don't like dropping fuel. Like, I've made ships that don't need a lot of the main stage fuel, but I use it anyway because I don't like leaving it. And that's very inconvenient for cleaning up the system. Okay, this won't be a perfectly equatorial orbit because the ship's very difficult to control like this. but. It's fine, because it's, yeah. I think, um, I'm not sure what the, um, but yeah, like I say, geostationary, I'm not sure what altitude that's at. See, so yeah, that's just really quick, and I'm already at ridiculously fast. I think it's actually somewhere near where my apoapsis is, but I'm not entirely sure. Uh, yeah, I can ditch that much fuel. Okay, uh, I'm waiting for the stages to unlock. Oh no, I'm time warping. Okay, yeah, I'll ditch that now. You can see I've still got this... Yeah, I've still got as much fuel in this stage as you have in a Falcon 1 main stage. And you have a Merlin engine, which is slightly less powerful, but bigger. And uh, has a really high ISP in vacuum, I think. Okay, well, it's not firing, so it doesn't have a specific impulse right now, but... Okay, so I'll warp around. Kind of push it out to... Yeah, my surface velocity is quite high. I'm not. If you want to find out what geostationary is in this game, you can just Google it. I yeah, I have no idea, but um, obviously you get a huge amount of payload into um, low orbit and quite a lot into geostationary. I mean, in real life, the Falcon Heavy gets 54 tons into geosta uh, into low Earth orbit and uh, quite a lot less into geostationary, but still quite a lot and very efficiently. I think Elon Musk was once asked if he was working on a warp drive. Um, 
And obviously you think, Warp Drive, that's just Star Trek, that's just crazy. I mean, yes, it is, relatively. I mean, we're never really going to have a Warp Drive. Probably. Although I secretly hope we will. Although it's not secret, because I said that on the internet. Anyway. But what some people are working on is a nuclear pulse engine, which fires, um, which uses nuclear explosions behind a plate to push the ship incredibly fast and can speed things up a lot. Anyway, we're in a pretty nice, stable, relatively, uh, very high, relatively circular orbit. It's not perfect, but I don't know that much time. And you can see, um, I've got loads of fuel left, which I'm just going to dump because I don't need it. Oh, well, my pharynx came off first. And you can see that my tiny little satellite I used, Falcon Heavy. I probably could have done this with Falcon 1, but you've already seen Falcon 1, and I might as well do this. And I've got set up action groups, but anyway, I'll extend the panels. And obviously having something at this high could be really useful. I mean, a station this high could be useful if you're docking at it, and then you can go on really long flights without having to break as much of Earth's gravity, uh, Kerbin's gravity. A re yeah, a refueling station here would be really good. Oh, damn. Yeah, I'm just doing all this without action groups and just getting everything wrong. Yeah, so I've got a little Sputnik-style communication satellite spying on America because because the well the Cold War's done, so I'm no longer spying on America. I just although actually the first Sputnik came down and burnt up an atmosphere. But anyway, yeah, so. That's my satellite, that's Falcon Heavy. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, if you like the video, like it. If you want to see more, subscribe. Uh, if you want to see Falcon 1 and Falcon 9, watch my other videos. Um, I apologize for the lackingness of the Falcon 9 video, but uh, this is KSP with Tape. I'll see you next time.